Hi, my name is Candace Spencer and I'm reporting from the Texas Roadhouse in Elkhart, Indiana. I've been a TC for three and a half years. I've been certified to train as host, server, bartender, SA, expo, and admin. I'm the front of the house regional champion finalist for 2010. Now here is Kelsey at our legendary hostess stand, also known as The Fort. Thank you, Candace. What I enjoyed about my orientation was being shown the meat room where all of our hand cut steaks are prepared. I also enjoyed filling out my new quiz so everyone knew who I was when I came in and getting my picture taken. I also am thankful for my trainers because they taught me how to do every position at the host stand, including be one of the leaders on to go and board, and to Kasha in the dining room. Thank you, Kelsey. My favorite thing about my orientation was being introduced at the alley rallies. Everyone made me feel comfortable like I was already part of the team. And everyone acted like they were excited to have me joining their staff. And then my server trainers were so knowledgeable, they made me feel like they knew everything about the menu. So if I messed up, it was easy for them to correct me without making me feel like I was really doing anything wrong. I knew that as soon as I was on my own, I would already know what to do and I wouldn't have any problems with the guests or having to make a lot of mistakes. And I knew that if I made mistakes, everything was going to be okay. Alright, back to you Candace. I am here with Amanda Hill, one of our legendary server trainers, and she would like to discuss training. I'm a certified hostess and server trainer. I've been training for four years. Candace definitely supports all of us and shows cam concern for the whole training team. We get many incentives for being a trainer. We get two free meals a month, two free ground station cards, no sober on the weekends, and definitely the Legends program motivates me as being a server because I have to read the Texas today and it makes me a more knowledgeable server and trainer. Candace is basically server training agenda and they're very helpful. There's a different one for every day and so keeps every server on the same page. The funnest part about training for me is getting to know the trainee and having them be comfortable with me and be able to ask me any question that they want. And definitely when I quiz them and they get it, it's like an awesome feeling. I think it's definitely a part of that. She definitely has taught me everything and taught me how to train. Thank you, Amanda. Now we will be going to April Lau, another legendary server trainer. Thank you, Candace. Hi, my name is April. I've been a certified trainer, server trainer, for two and a half years now. Um, several ways that Candace supports us is she provides us with all of our training materials. Um, our study guides and our quizzes. Um, she also plans our meetings and our outings, such as bowling, and right now we're planning a cruise. Um, the most important thing I think she's done for us, though, is she's provided us with our Legends program, which is similar to her Champs program, which pretty much just holds us accountable for getting our own letters and makes us better trainers along the way. I use several different training materials when I'm training. I use the Texas Today. I also use the Menu and Liquor Study Guide, and I think it's also important to show them the secret shopper, just so they know what to look for. One way I have fun while training is I try to get to know my trainee, you know, ask them questions about themselves, make them feel comfortable in their environment. So when they come into work, they don't feel like they're just in some strange new place, they feel like they have friends here. And that's all I have. Back to you, Candace. Thank you, April. I am here with Tommy Harrell, managing partner in Elkhart, Indiana, also a 2010 MP finalist. And I have a few questions I would like to ask him. So, Tommy, can you name two specific things that I did in 2010 to help improve the knowledge and culture of your staff? Two things that I think that you did really well to uh, improve our, our training in the front of the house is definitely uh, you, you had the, uh, the Legends program that you installed this year. The Legends program is there for our trainers to have some incentives to perform well in training. Uh, the next thing I think you made an impact on was just employee energy and overall morale and making sure that we're the friendliest restaurant in town. How have I impacted your training program? Make sure that the, uh, the trainers are definitely well prepared when they're training MITs. You, you spend time with the MITs when they're in here. Definitely spend time in, in making sure that our new hires feel very welcome through the orientations. Uh, making sure that the trainers are very well prepared to train our new hires introducing our new hires uh, with fun fun facts about them and uh, pictures on the board. And why should I be a national trainer? <laughs> well, I, I really think that Candace should be a training champion because she just really does and deserves everything 
everything that comes her way. I mean, she's done a great job. She's been in the training coordinator position for three years now, and she has excelled in it. She's earned a letter every single quarter since becoming a training champion. And I don't think there's many people out there that can say that. Our shopper scores have remained and improved over uh, 94%, 89% actually when she took over to over 94% three years running. We've actually had a real bar champion uh, over the course of that. Uh, you, you've, we've also had many awards with Service Manager of the Year. We've uh, won President's Club a couple years in a row. So there's a lot of awards that we've got, but I think all those awards come from great training. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. And now we will be going to Brittany Logson, our service manager at our real bar. Candace should be nominated for training champion of the year for many reasons. Just to name a couple specific things that she does for me and my staff to improve the knowledge and culture of our staff. You know, she is my newcomer's first impression. She's the first big hug to our family here at Texas Roadhouse. I really feel like our team is a big family. Definitely that first hug, so I really appreciate that. She also keeps everybody extremely organized. She is definitely our backbone, so I love it that she can do that for me. Candace is really the driving force behind our training program. You know, she created our Legends program, which is a program for our trainers so that they can earn letters just like the training champions do whenever they accomplish their goals. Candace should be nominated for training champ, national training champion, because she is really dedicated to her job. She and I work together on a one-on-one -on -one basis daily. I mean, how many training coordinators do you know that are on their gold letters? I am convinced that they created the Gold Champs program just for Candace, so that's why she should win. I love you, Candace. I have all materials prepped prior to my orientations. All of the information that I use is from TRH Family, The Texas Today, and any other information that may be needed liquor license information, their training schedule, direct deposit forms, so on and so forth. I call the new hire a day prior to their orientation to remind them of any info that they will need to bring. The day of their orientation, I will write their name in chalk on the sidewalk or on the cement in the restaurant to welcome them. Also, during their orientation, I will give them a newbie questionnaire that asks questions like, where is one place you would like to go on vacation. Are clowns creepy or cute? What's your favorite item on our menu? Also, I will take their picture and these are placed on the spot welcome newbies on our communication board. Every day during a new hire's training, I will have the trainer and the trainee communicate in their communication logs. I also sit down with them and have a one-on-one -on -one with the trainees and the trainers every other day or when they have a new trainer or trainee. To incorporate skill reviews, they are very simple for my trainers since they have already been placed into the new training agendas. For an example of our validations, after they have taken their required test, myself and the service manager or managing partner will sit down with them and the new hire and discuss their training, what they like about training, what they think they need to work on, and how comfortable they feel in their position. I recognize my trainers by showing them off to all of our guests that enter the restaurant. Also, the Trainer Communication Board is always being updated with all their outings and meetings with tons of pictures. The 2010 Trainer Outings consisted of a day at the dunes full of sun and fun, bowling and arcades, who doesn't love to bowl, a day at the park, and our, um, and our annual Trainer Extreme Challenge, which they received third place this year. Team building was the greatest part. For my trainer development, I have made a Legends program that corresponds with the Champs program. It makes them knowledgeable, responsible, and dedicated to the training they provide for us. Also, new trainer agendas have been made and make them feel like they are all on the same page and not revisiting the same things over and over again. They are step-by-step -step guidelines to legendary training. I believe that I should be the next national training champion because Instead of just following the guidelines to be an ATC, I've taken the route less traveled by and became a legendary TC. Now you may ask what the difference is between a TC and a legendary TC. I would have to say that it's not only my drive and determination to make my training team the most successful and knowledgeable team in the nation, but to show them that they can get to wherever they want to go as long as they are determined, commit, and have passion with whatever they want to do. Thank you for your time. 
I am Candace Spencer. Keep it legendary, Texas Roadhouse.